Rams scoring a touchdown with every NFL kicker, starting here with Cairo Santos of the Bears. We're going to have four downs here to score from inside the red zone. First down, as you can tell here, Cairo is at quarterback. No, oh God, dude, this is gonna be impossible. I mean, he's only a 12 overall at quarterback. Can we make some progress here on second down? I mean, I'm just gonna throw it to Cole Komet, who does make the catch, okay? At least we're down at the 10. Can somebody just please get wide open? Oh my God, he was. I'm just gonna take off, though. Oh my God, oh my God, Santos! Touchdown! This is just the first of many touchdowns scored by kickers today for you psychos. Since we successfully scored, we now get to spin this wheel of overalls and get to steal a player from the Bears with a corresponding overall to add to the current day's NFL's worst roster. And after we finish building the new look Panthers, we have to sim the season, and if we don't win the Super Bowl, I have to buy a Justin Tucker jersey and wear it in my videos for a whole week straight. Our first official player we get to steal today, let's start things off with an absolute big you know what i'll take a player below 88 unfortunately that does mean the only player we can't steal is dj moore but the bears have some decent options on their roster and obviously with the panthers having the nfl's worst record like the team definitely has some holes so for this team to become a super bowl champion i'm gonna have to make the best decisions possible every opportunity well fellas i think it's safe to say we got our new lockdown corner i mean Jalen and jc horn are gonna make an incredible one-two combo we really got to work on this defensive line and eventually we're gonna have to add some weapons to this offense next up we have carlson from the packers but he's a wide receiver that's because we'll be switching the contestants position for each attempt which will make this much harder than what it already is we have to throw this to carlson every single play <laughs> he's like in triple coverage back there he's gonna go up he could have made that catch to sit him down the field on a streak He's gonna drop the ball again. Third down, he's running a little out route. He's wide open. He is wide open. Carlson, touchdown! What a pristine ran route. And better yet, what a freaking grab. Now the Packers do have some talent on their roster. And we're gonna have to grab another player below 88. Like obviously I would have taken Alexander Bakhtiari. But there's some other good options below 88. Which I did decide upon Elton Jenkins for our Super Bowl run. It's absolutely vital we share up the offensive line and we did that a little bit with Elton we just still have to find a way to add some firepower to our skill positions our next contestant is Evan McPherson but he's lined up a running back I think the best course of action here is to run a few screen passes with him because he's got some blockers and just like that McPherson down to the nine on second down I'm just gonna be careful and run the football here Evan McPherson oh my god bro he's already down to the three. Third down McPherson is not gonna be the first one to fail it is just too freaking easy. He might be better than Joe Mixon. So can we finally get our choice of any player this time off the Bengals roster? We get, you know, an 86 to 90. I'll take that. You know, it would have been real nice to have gotten Jamar Chase or Joe Burrow, but we're going to have to settle for one of these guys. We actually decided on our new running back one, although that looks nothing like Joe Mixon. I told you guys we needed skill position players, and Joe Mixon's a good start, although there's a lot more work to go. Same thing goes for this freaking defense next we have dustin hopkins but he's lined up at tight end other ones have been hard enough how are we supposed to score with our kicker at tight end the browns have some good high rated players we could steal too so we've got to find a way to score a little tight end screen oh my god what a block that at least is going to get Hopkins to about the 13. Two plays to get a little bit over 10 more yards. Can Hopkins get open here? I'm going to have to just loft it. Oh, he got so close. We have our first fourth down. You know what? I'm just going to send Hopkins up the field on a streak. Come on, Dustin. You can't be our first player to fail. Please. Please. He caught it. He hung on. Let's go. I think we've confirmed that Hopkins has the clutch gene. So many good players we could steal from the Browns roster. And it looks like we're going to get another 86 to 90, which I'll take. Oh, how I would have loved to have stolen Miles Garrett or Nick Chubb. But some decent players we have to decide between. So I think I need to know. I added Amari Cooper. He was a 90 overall, but it came with an upgrade. So don't kill me over that. But I told you we need to add talent at the skill positions and that's what we've done so far i think it's now time to start focusing on this freaking defense now we have mclaughlin at quarterback i mean he at least has good receivers to throw to let's just throw a fade here to mike evans 
doesn't make the grab. They're running man three deep, so we should be able to get some yardage here. Chris Godwin, he didn't overthrow it. What an actual dime there from the kicker all the way down to the two. Things have been going just way too well so far. Like, I know something bad's gonna happen sooner rather than later. Like, right now. Like, what do I do? I just gotta throw it away. What a throw. He might have the strongest arm I've ever seen. No way that we fail here from, like, the two-yard line. Godwin, wide open. Laser! I don't know what it is. I feel like sometimes I sound like the chocolate lady from SpongeBob. The Bucks are another team that do have their fair share of players, and this time... We get to grab a player above 85. So we literally get anybody over 85 rated. And instead of defense like I should have, I went with another lineman. Which after reshuffling a few things, this offensive line looks incredible. But I've got to start working on this defense fast or we're never going to make the Super Bowl. Can we keep it rolling with Blake Group lined up at receiver? Let's see if he can run a nasty little in-breaking route here. Oh my god. These... I was about to give him praise. I was about to be so happy. Like, Blake, we've got to do better. He's got him pressed over there now. So I'm going to see if he can beat one-on-one -on -one man press coverage. And that's definitely a no. Can we at least get some yards here? I mean, he's kind of open. And he dropped the ball again. Come on, Blake. Like, I just knew things have been going too well. Like, Blake has shown the kicker's true colors. Let's see if he can provide a miracle here on fourth down. He's open. Oh, a little bit of an overthrow. Blake has officially provided us our first fail of the day. But hopefully Matthew will get us back on track. But he's lined up at running back. 39 years old, toting the rock here. And we got a total of two yards. I think our only road to success here is trying out screams passes to Matthew and he has blockers there's no way we just scored with Matthew Prater he's a grandfather now honestly there's only a handful of Cardinals I'd even probably want and at least I'm gonna get up to an 85 overall brother I'm not gonna lie this one is kind of a stinker Hollywood is the only player that made any sense at all and I mean it's not the worst thing in the world to have Hollywood Brown as your number three receiver as I mentioned at this point it's not even the offense I'm worried about it's this freaking putrid defense hopefully jason can keep it rolling as our quarterback so we're gonna try a read option off the get-go and oh my god jason go the greatest two-yard run you'll ever see just need you to drop a quick little dime here jason oh my god he had the tight end and he overthrew it we literally only have two more plays to get into the end zone from the 18 yard line dk DK overthrown again. All we need is 18 yards here in one play. Like, no big deal or anything. Although, Jackson Smith. Oh, my God. There's no way. There's just no way Jason Myers threw that. I think this can accurately be depicted as a miracle. And let's see what that miracle is going to actually get us. It is going to get us. Oh, my God. Absolutely nothing. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Now, let's see if Dicker can keep it up with them lined up outside. Let's see if Dicker can run this dig like an all pro. I mean, he's kind of open there. Justin Herbert overthrew him. Going to make sure I take advantage of this so I can say Dicker as many times as I want to. Second down. Just going to throw it up to Dicker. One on one. And Dicker can't come down with it. Now we got Dicker on a skinny post. The throw. It was close. Absolutely zero shot. We get bailed here again on fourth down. If anybody's going to do it, though, is going to be Dicker. Maybe not. Perfect coverage. Yep, that's kind of an L. Hopefully, Harrison will bring us better luck. Although, he's lined up at tight end, replacing Travis Kelsey. Let's see if he can play as well as Travis. Juan Harrison. Taylor Swift is here. Not impressing her. Try that again here. He's open. Oh, my God. Patrick Mahomes overthrew him. Hopefully third down here will be a charm. Butker, what a swat. Another fourth down where I'm going to need an absolute miracle. He's kind of open. He makes the grab. He drops it. Gosh dang it. You failed me, Butker. Matt Gay's got to be the one to get us back on track. And we got Gay lined up at running back. Huge hole. What a first play. All the way down to the 11. Going to keep pounding it with Gay. Not much luck. Can we hit him on a little wheel route out of the backfield? Not looking good. It's not looking good at all. So I'm forced to resort back here to our halfback screens. We got the throw off. Oh, this is so scuffed. Please, to the corner. Dive. Touchdown. Huge. What an effort here from Matthew. Since we've missed out on stealing a player from the last few teams, we need an absolute 
banger here and we get a below 80. So that's just freaking great. So getting a player below 80 overall is just not optimal here. Although Quiddy Pay should make a pretty massive impact. He slots right in as the starting left end in this defense. A massive upgrade from the prior 68 overall starter, which are overall now up to an 84 across the board. I'm curious if this can eventually reach a 90. So I think a 90 overall team is what we need at bare minimum to be Super Bowl proof. I fully expect Nick Folk though to bring back the good vibes and hopefully he can do that by slinging the pigskin here. He's got Phillips wide open. Nick Folk dot. Screw Will Levis. I think we found the true QB1. And hopefully Nick Folk's cannon can get us a quality player from the Titans. And we're going to get anybody from a 75 to 85. Unfortunately, the Titans are another team where I'm going to have to settle for somebody I really don't want. So I stole Tier Tart, who should help us at the tackle. He slots right in as defensive tackle number one, which hilarious enough, his addition brought the defense defense up to an 85 but still so much work to do like the big question man is like do i eventually move on from bryce hopefully joseph can show he's got that dog in him got him lined up a wide receiver running a little dig they got him double covered dude like how's that even fair we just need our old line to give us a little time here on second down He's being covered by Deontay Banks, by the way. Have any chance? We've got to get some yards here on third. Thank God he's wide open. He drops a wide open pass. So that's just not a good omen. I just need a miracle of all miracles here. He's in double coverage. What was the DB doing? Brother, what just happened? How on earth did he get to this football? I mean, I guess it was a linebacker covering him. So hopefully that miracle can get us an absolute banger from Washington. And it looks like a player below 92 is one I'll take. So basically, I can get anybody that I want. So without a shadow of a doubt, I went with Jonathan Allen to steal our first X Factor. I think it's safe to say that defensive line's looking a little bit better. I mean, that move alone brought her overall up to an 85 with a an 87 defense so although not perfect the defense looking much better so it might be time to move back to improving the offense now time to see what graham has up his sleeve we got him lined up at qb so let's see if he can sling this pigskin let's just get a few yards here down to the 15 we have two plays to get 15 yards darren waller wide open bang we needed that big time unfortunately there aren't many great giant players so hopefully we get our pick of the bunch and we get our pick of a 75 to 85 so i'm not gonna lie dude this one is sort of tricky but we did end up stealing our new tight end one although that looks nothing like darren i mean a pretty massive upgrade from hayden hurst which that move did bring the offense up to an 85 i mean i would like to add another good receiver maybe another lineman or two and of course, we have to decide what to do at quarterback. Now, let's see what Aubrey can cook up lined up at wideout. There are so many good Cowboy players that we could steal, so we got to make sure that we complete this. Although, I'm pretty sure we're not going to score here. Play number one. Let's see if he can beat press man coverage. It's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Can he get open here on the comeback route? He is. Dak! Dak! <gasps> Brother, we have got to be better than that. Like, we've just gotten so lucky on fourth down today that I just don't expect it to happen again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, I don't even know what to say anymore. I thought there was absolutely no chance until he actually caught it this time. This wheel has yet to hit any today. And now if we hit it, everybody's going to think I cheated. That's just funny. That is so funny. That is so funny. You know what? I don't care. So I can get literally anybody off this roster. And it really comes down to do I get a 99 overall player or do I add Michael Parsons? And you might very well disagree with my decision. Decision, but I decided to go with the member of the 99 club, which I think our offensive line is good for now. And that one move did bring the team up to an 87 overall across the board. And aside from quarterback, I'm loving this offense. So it might just be time to move back to improving the defense. As you can tell, I did shuffle a few things around. Now can Jake Elliott keep things rolling, lined up at running back? Start things off calmly here with a little inside zone. Oh my God. Maybe we can hit him out of the backfield. Oh my god. Oh, that was so close to Fawn Gilmore. Why'd you have to do me like that? I guess we'll just run the football again. Like, what a huge hole down to the four. Another fourth down attempt. I think this time I'm just gonna heave it to him in the flat. Hopefully. 
Hopefully, hopefully, Elliot Bang! The hands of a young Jerry Rice. Now, the Eagles are another team that have so many good players. Hopefully, we can get one of them. Oh my God, it's going to go off at any. We're going to have to get somebody under 88. We were so close to getting another pick of the bunch. So I'm allowed to take anybody under 88 overall. And honestly, I think there's only one rational decision. And that decision was to add our brand new QB1. Safe to say we're definitely on pace to building a Super Bowl contender. Now that we're up to an 88 overall with an 89 offense. But I'm still not really confident at all. So we need to get back to improving the defense. Defense. Now let's see if Jason Sanders can accurately sling this big skin. Let's see if Tyreek can get open here first play. <laughs> Double coverage. And he actually caught it. Um, that is just not what I was expecting. I mean, I guess he's a 99 overall for a reason. So can I actually steal Tyreek Hill? Not quite, but I'll take a player below 92. Unfortunately, I can't take any of the big dogs because I have to get somebody below 92 overall. And I have to say, stealing Javon Holland has been one of the simplest decisions I've had to make. Because he slides right in as our starting free safety. If we could just add like one or two more superstars to this defense, man, I would feel confident. Now, what the frick is Tyler Bass going to do for us lined up at tight end? Can we score again here on play? number one. I think tight end has been the most difficult position yet. It hit him right in the freaking hands. Come on, Tyler. Let's try this time. Send him up the seam. Inside throw. He actually caught that. Are you kidding me? That's the most insane thing I've seen all day. Come on, Will. Give us another blessing. And that's what the frick I'm talking about. Now, do I do what I actually want and take Stephon Diggs or maybe even Josh Allen? Or do I do what the team needs and take a player like Von Miller? I had to do it, man, for the betterment of the squad. I mean, look at that defensive line now. Like, honestly, if we can get a better outside linebacker, this could be the top defense in the league if it's not already that. Still want to improve the offense where I can, though. Now, what are the odds William can score? Lined up at halfback starting things off a little inside zone in a massive hole all the way down to the seven i mean frick let's just do it again oh my god we just got down to the two and two plays don't really like the look of this but hey we're gonna try it again will lutz literally just went 20 yards as our running back in three plays now which quality bronco are we gonna be able to land well we get a decent one below 85 now who 85 and below on the broncos is even gonna help our squad just decided to go jerry judy i mean at least we have four quality receivers now just still holding out faith we can bring the team up to a 90 next up we got daniel he's lined up at wide receiver on the left side and hit him with a little comeback route play number one and he almost scored so i'm actually gonna try the same play twice they have it covered a little bit better this time oh my god the comeback routes are op what a ball from aiden o'connell though and the raiders do have some quality players but they're all higher overall and we're just gonna get another below 85 now who below 85 do i even take from the raiders marcus peters is the only player that made any bit of sense whatsoever can't believe we're out here actually stealing cornerback threes if we can't eventually improve this left outside linebacker position i'm gonna lose my freaking mind is it bad I have no idea who this guy is. Hopefully, he makes a good quarterback, though. Cooper Cup's wide open play number one. Oh my god, that was too easy. The Rams have some really good players, but they're all super high overall. So it's like no in between. And after all, it doesn't even matter because we get nothing. Hopefully, we'll have better luck with Jacob, though. And he's lined up at running back instead of CMC. Play number one, another big one down to about the 11. If they actually blitz here, this could be an easy touchdown. Had to get the ball off. Moody, he oh, got to catch that. We have got to score here because the 49ers have too many good players. We had Aaron Donald in our face and Jake Moody. Gosh, he's so close down to the four. I've got to punch this in, man. Like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Moody, Moody, 
Touchdown! That, my friends, was nothing but blood, sweat, and tears. 49ers have so many good players, so hopefully we can get one of them, and it's anybody above 85 overall. So I can steal literally anybody I want to off this 49ers roster. I just had to do it. I had to bring CMC back to Carolina. I think it's safe to say CMC, Joe Mixon, and Miles Sanders makes the best running back trio in the league. I mean, I can't believe I passed up on Nick Bosa, but I still am holding out faith we can still improve the defense with superstars. And we're getting super close to that 90 overall target. Next, what are we supposed to do with Edward lined up at tight end? Just gonna try a streak play number one. I mean, he's got a little bit of space. Oh my god! How on God's freaking green earth did he catch that? Now, obviously, we can't steal a current Panther, but I can improve whoever I want to up to an 85 overall. And it's actually our young bull left guard, Akeem Ikwanu, who I decided to improve to 85, which creates what has to be the best offensive line in NFL history. And that did move our overall up to the 90 mark, even though the team's up to a 90, the defense needs to be brought up to speed a bit. If I don't end up improving left outside linebacker, I am gonna hate myself. Now we have Young Ho Ku running post routes. No shot, we score play number one here, although a little bit of space and it's picked off. Now what if I was to audible this to a streak route? Can we get a little bit of space to throw the ball? It's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Now the comeback routes have been working. And... Oh my god, he caught it at the one yard line. Another fourth down, man. We've got to go one yard in one play. And he's absolutely clamped. What do I even do, bro? Like, what do I what am I supposed to do here? He caught it! Oh my god! What a play! What a freaking play! How did that nonsense just actually work? I don't even feel like we deserve an upgrade from that. So whatever we get here is a positive, and we get a Falcon anywhere from an 80 to 85. I mean, what do I do? I can take Bijan, Kyle Pitts, but like, I don't need them. Gosh. Dang, what do I even do here? I mean, I went with Kyle Pitts. Like, what else was I supposed to do? I mean, it does feel kind of worthless, but at least him and Darren Waller make the best one-two punch at tight end in the league. I'm telling you, it's like this challenge is not presenting me good outside linebackers. Next contestant is Fairbairn, but at quarterback. Let's see how nasty he looks off a little play action here. We got Robert Woods open and he makes the grab. The kickers at quarterback and running back haven't even been giving me issues. It's the wide receivers and tight ends. So hopefully we can keep things rolling though. And oh, a little bit out of bounds. Now we have a third down here. I could just try and scramble in. Touchdown. Did we score? Oh my God, it's close. Dude, that's a touchdown all day, every day. Now let's see what we get to steal from the Texans anybody above 85 so it's a choice literally between jimmy ward and larry me tunsil like is there any debate of course i'm going with jimmy just kidding so if it wasn't the case before i think now it's safe to say we have the best o-line ever i mean the offense overall is now up to a 93 i mean what else can i do i'm gonna eye that outside linebacker position until the day i freaking die next contestants brandon mcmanus i don't know how to feel about him at receiver he's running a little draft here where he is wide open and he's gonna get a first down and much more down to about the 11 and you just slow things down not try to get it all in one play oh gosh he is clamped he is so clamped i just have to throw it and <laughs> that's gonna be picked off two more plays to get into the end zone mcmanus he hung on touchdown he caught that in some pretty solid coverage too come on give me a high quality jag anybody below 85 i mean i'll take it like get anybody below 85 from the jags i really don't know if any of these guys even help me i mean i just went ahead with calvin ridley like what else did you want me to do there now time to see if gregory can cook at halfback as always a little simple inside zone to start and he's stuffed gregory's not the most athletic so i think he's gonna have to be one of those green pass merchants makes the grab here a little bit of progress down to the 11 i mean might as well try it again and they blitzed this could be it this could be it greg joseph down to the two fourth down we're gonna give this everything we've got oh no yeah dude that was never gonna work hopefully riley will get us back on track lined up at tight end can this be another one play touchdown he's got some space oh harrison smith knocked it down try to squeeze it in there again he's open 
He dropped it. That is inexcusable. See if we can get something here. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. I mean, if freaking Sam Laporta didn't tackle him, he could have caught that. This is going to have to take a miracle of all miracles. No way. No way we just did it again. Like, I don't even know what to say anymore. Hopefully that miracle can bring us a quality lion and oh god oh no keep going yes that is way better than nothing so that means i can basically get anybody that i want off the lions so i went with aiden hutchinson now let me explain why this is why we've converted von miller over to left outside linebacker with that move alone has brought the team up two overalls up to 92 with a 91 defense now like from this point the goal is just to continue to add superstars to make sure this squad is super bowl proof now let's see if Ryland can keep the positivity rolling. He's lined up as our quarterback. Let's make sure we get a few yards here. Like, quarterbacks have been impressing me. How about we try a little QB draw here? How on earth did that just turn into a positive play? Maybe a screen pass here is the move. We got our blockers. Oh, no, he didn't block sauce. Well, for all the marbles here, Demario Douglas. Can he catch that? Let's go. Now, the Patriots are another team where there's only like one or two players I really want. So we're going to need one of the better overalls and we only get a 75 to 80. Honestly, dudes, I think I know what I'm going to do here without a shadow of a doubt. I actually cannot believe we were just allowed to steal Christian Gonzalez, which I'm going to let him slide in as our cornerback three. So hopefully Zerloin will help us steal a better player, although he's lined up at receiver, which has proved to be one of the toughest positions today. Play number one. Oh my god. God, is this Greg Zerloin or primetime Julian Edelman? Like, I can't tell the difference. I mean, we could get Sauce Gardner or a couple of other really good players, and we're going to have to settle for keep going, keep going in 86 to 90. Now, the only options that fit in the criteria is either Aaron Rodgers or CJ Mosley. And of course, I went with CJ. I mean, I'm loving the way this defense looks. And as I've already mentioned, I am absolutely loving the way this offense looks. I would still Still love to add a few more superstars, though. Now, what does Christopher have up his sleeve here at running back? Inside zone play number one. And this is going to take us all the way down to the eight. Now, can we hit him out in the flats? Oh, bad decision. Very, very bad decision. Back with some inside zone action. And Ooh. we just got killed. We have one final play to score here with the Steelers. Christopher, of course, is going to be running a halfback screen. He's got his blockers. Oh, my God. Dive. Dive. We got stopped. I mean, it looked so promising. And then Roquan Smith happened. But I'm sure that the GOAT won't let us down. I've got all the faith in the world in Justin Tucker at QB. How about a little read option to start? TJ Watt was having none of that. So now we have to go about 24 yards in three plays. Mark Andrews, he's open, please. <laughs> No! Trying to get us a little bit closer here with the cheesy screen pass. Gus Edwards with the grab. And at least that's going to take us to about the 15. I don't care who it is. We just need somebody to get open here. Might just have to keep it up. Rashad Bateman. What a one! And the ball is knocked down. Not gonna lie, just a little bit depressing. But I still have faith in the squad that we have. I mean, this team has got to be competing for a Super Bowl, right? I mean, this defense is just too insane to not be a top five unit. I mean, the squad is a 92 with a 93 offense and a 91 defense. Yeah, bro, we should be hoisting that Lombardi. But everything we have been through comes down to the click of a button. Our first course of action here is just to make sure sure we make the playoffs i'll gladly take a 15 and 2 season which was good enough for that first round by which hilarious our only two losses came at the helms of two afc south teams of course we had the top offense in the league defensively we had i don't know what that means oh by far the best unit in the league we allowed 48 points less than anybody else jalen hurts doing jalen hurts things i told you guys cmc and joe mixon were gonna make a deadly duo and after all the receivers that we added, Adam Thielen was our top guy. Poor Hollywood and Jerry Judy didn't get a single target all year. And even after all the additions we made defensively, Brian Burns continued to be our best player. At this point, no individual stat.
stats matter. All we have to do from here is win the Super Bowl. Absolutely zero shot. We get beat by the 9-8 and eight Rams at home as one of the best teams in NFL history and it's a lot closer of a victory than I imagined. So from here, all we have to do is beat the Dallas Cowboys, who by far are Madden's favorite team. They win the Super Bowl like every single season, so just for once, give it to somebody else. And we do get a massive 12-point victory, advancing us into the Super Bowl against the LA Chargers. If we make it all the way to the Super Bowl just to lose and to fail the challenge, you will see a grown man cry. But if we win, we've succeeded successfully completed today's challenge and we do officially come out of here with a big 28 to 20 victory thank god my bank account is safe for at least another video now hopefully you enjoyed the video enough to subscribe to the channel and if you did you can click right here to watch another video where i try and score a touchdown with every wide receiver in the nfl